Look at his eye, Jerry the Hee-Ho! Uh, my dog's awake. Dog means it might bark. So if you hear a small bark, it's dog. Anyways, this week we're fighting Tyrant. Uh, we fought him. His team is quite scary, as you can tell. Uh, one of the things I noted in my notes is that I'm assuming, I assumed, that this is going to be a Scarf Lando T, and that is definitely a... What's it called? A Scarf... Not a Scarf, a Bandit Entei. But the main thing I noticed is that he does have two Intimidate users, meaning that our Beware set will be successful if, if, if I predict something correctly or something. I don't know. So let's just get started. Off the bat, I start off with We Above My Deoxys. And he starts off with Gardevoir. I know I'm going to be able to tank that Hyper Voice very nicely, so I get the free rocks right here. And so he goes for Hyper Voice. And I get the rocks up. Uh, for the rest of the match, it's going to be basically this. Shadow Ball, Recover. Hyper Voice, Recover. Uh... Recover, Ice Beam, Recover, Recover, Ice Beam, Recover. That's going to be the whole match. Basically, so I'm going to set this on fast. <sighs> so Hyper Voice, and I live on that roll. That 1%. You gotta love Pokemon, right? <laughs> That's okay, though. So what he's doing is trying to get that special defense drop, because after that special defense drop, he is going to be able to just kill this thing but my main goal right here is just to stall it out I can outstall it I definitely can outstall it and that is very very good because Gardevoir is one massive threat and what if I manage to stall it that's one massive threat out of the way so he goes for Shadow Ball again I recover uh, Shadow Ball again I recover and he has no no <laughs> Special defense drop, which sucks for him majorly, because that special defense drop is just super important. This is gonna be going on for about 22 turns. Yeah. So so far, is not much has been happening except that I'm able to stall this thing out. Uh, I think at this point it's already out of hyper voice. Uh. I'm gonna chip it out now. Oof. Nice, nice, nice. Nothing's happening. I get a free recover. Oh no, I just use hyper voice. It's not out of hyper voice yet. <sighs> hyper voice again. Recover again. Lefties again. And at this point, he's all out of. He's all out of it. No Shadow Balls, no Hyper Voice. All he has is Psychic, and I Ice Beam, and looks, 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 look, what just happened. So I'm gonna set this back to normal speed. Switches out to Entei. I expect some. I expect Type No. I expect to switch into Type No for some reason, and that's gonna mess me up quite a lot. And I switch to Pre Marina because I'm hoping Pre Marina can tank the Sacred Fire. It does not tank it as well as I wanted it to, and it gets burned and it puts it in range. To get killed, I Aqua Jet because I'm hoping to get some chip damage on it. And I live. I should have just used Sparkling Aria. That was a fool because that would have killed it. I panicked, you know. I wasn't expecting to live it. <sighs> and yeah, you know, might as well just sack off Lulu Go. And there, there's Wea Bob. What I should have done is left Wea Bob and sacked it off. And I go for Ice because that's my only attacking move. I, I still regret not sacking off the Oxid defense. That could have honestly saved me the game. Into Limewire, which I'm hoping can tank it, but this is a Bandit Entei. Of course, it's not going to tank it. I don't outspeed. If I was timid, I would have outsped. But he switches out, fearing that I do outspeed. Into Type No, and I go for a Quiver just to be safe. Because I know I, I, I know I was going to die, but you know, he went for the switch. He went for the switch, so that is good for me. I go for another quiver, just to be very, very safe. But he wakes up turn one. <laughs> you know, gotta love Pokemon. And so now I have nothing for this thing. 
I was hoping it would not have woken up at that turn, but you know, that sucks. And now, I can hopefully tank a move from this thing. I tank it very nicely. Now he goes over to Lando T, and Adrenaline Orb activates. But, you know, Lando T outspeeds either way. I try to play it safe there with the for break break. He goes for Super Power, which was a foolish mistake on my part not going for Ice Punch, because it would have been safe. I would have outsped most of his team by now. And he goes into his uh, spinner, which is Beyblade, and he hits him on top. And I get a crit, but not like it matters, because now I'm dead. Yeah, I played poorly in this match. And I lose to Tyrion at 5 0. A 5 0, ladies and gents. 5 0. So, what's the recap? Uh. The, I should have stacked up Deoxys Defense, I should have not gone for Aqua Jet, but I panicked because I thought I was going to... I didn't expect to live the next hit. I really didn't. I should have just gone for Sparkling Noria. I really should have, and that screwed me over so much. Uh, well, that was my fight with Tyrant. It was... it was definitely something. Uh, it was funny, I'll give it that. I was laughing a lot, but it was bad. Dog! Dogs! Dogs! Ah.